Well, Chris, uh, done a great job of uh, setting this one up for this coverage. Uh, who have we got uh, facing each other for uh, this gold medal? Uh, Erika Damsbo from Denmark, flown down with her husband, Martin, against uh, Clemson de Julie. Uh, this, is, this is Erika on target, number one. Yeah, 42-year-old Dane going up against the... Go ahead, Chris. I forget uh, Clementine de Julie, local archer from Switzerland, shot in our first invitational in Volen as well. A fantastic job to make the final here. Had to beat uh, uh, Miri Marisa Pass, the Estonian archer who won that first uh, live invitational. Well, let's get things underway. It's end number one. So it will be Damsbo to shoot first. Cumulative score uh, with the three targets. They can choose in any order. Over to the 27-year-old Swiss archer, Clementine de Julie. Just clipping the line there, so we'll get another nine for that one. So all square with one arrow left in this end. Of course, the maximum is a 10. And that's what Erica will be looking for. Mm, that's very, very close, that one. Provisionally marked as a nine. That's also a nine. So 27 apiece, a cumulative score here. Uh, Chris, uh, any uh, question over that final arrow from Erica? She's having a good look. Yeah, I'd be surprised if that wasn't called in. It's obviously very difficult to see at the angle. It's a very, very small 10 ring they're aiming for, only two centimeters in diameter. But you can tell by the kind of outside edge of the arrow, roughly where it's going to go have hit. The judge will take a look at that now. And I, I expect that to be marked up to a 10. Well, Clementine looking on, perhaps a little bit anxious. The interesting start for these two as well, ranked uh, fifth and sixth coming out of the ranking round. Yeah, we could have eight archers in each division come uh, to Lausanne to take part in this competition. In the compounds women's, we had seven, but the, the standard was very close, actually, across the competition. Um, these, these guys were invited, these guys and girls were invited based on their positioning in the first online stage and whether they could come here to Lausanne. So we haven't um, got just anybody here competing. There's certainly a high standard. You can see the clear 27 there from uh, Clementine. And it has been marked up to a 10 for Erica Damsbo. She, she takes a one-point lead after the first end. Line judge is ready. It's time for end number two. So trailing archer will shoot first, as always. And that will be Clementine here on target number two. Just trailing by a single point. On her first 10 of the match. Very close. Looks like it could be in as well. Now that is exceptionally close. I wonder if that will be marked up. So what looks like a 29 for me. And it looks like Dam's always had her second arrow provisionally marked as a 9. 
So, Chris, your thoughts? So we're seeing the provisional score of 56 apiece. Uh, do you think uh, any of those will get changed? Well, the judge will have to take a closer look. Both these archers dropped four points, shooting a 146 um, in their in their semi-finals. Uh, Erica Damsper beat Lola Grandjean of, of France, and Clementine de Julie beats, as I said before, Miri Marisa Pass. If those scores stand, they'll have dropped the same number of points in these first six arrows as they did in 15 in the semis. And that's just the effect of this arena. Cameras on them, a bit more focused, not in a line with other archers, and it becomes a lot more difficult to hit that small ten ring 18 meters away. Yeah, well, we wait to see. It looks like uh, Downsbow's been marked up to a 57. And it is indeed a 57 for uh, Downsbow. So two, two changes in the first two ends, uh, but already we're at end number three. So both shooting 29s in the previous round after a measure. So it does mean that Clementine de Julie on home soil will shoot first in this third end. Another close one, but uh, on the line will get marked up to a 10 almost certainly. Just a slightly longer hold there for Damage Bow, and that's the result. A second nine for her. So Clementine can put this particular end out of reach here. Oh, and that one's close as well, but I've got a marked as a 29 provision leap. Well, that's dropped into the eight, so that looks like a 26 for Damsbo, and that is a bit of a turnaround. Fr frustration creeping in for the Danish archer there. I think she was holding a bit longer, maybe squeezing it a little bit at the uh, at the bow arm and trying to push that into the middle. It's tough when you're not getting the points that you, you expect or you want in these finals arena. Tensing up isn't usually the way to go because if you tense up, you put a bit of torque into that front bow arm and, and any little deviation there, any little tension on release, that can just send that arrow out of the middle. Last shot for her was, was more disappointing than the rest though. She won't be happy with an eight in this final. Yeah, and uh, subject to uh, confirmation, this one swung around. Uh, Dansbo came in leading by a point. She now trails by a point after three. Just two more ends to go. It's time for the penultimate and fourth end. So big turnaround in that third end. Dansbo has dropped two points and will shoot first. Much better start there. Sometimes all you need is a moment to reset, get back in your head, and get back in your game. Excellent job starting this fourth end by Erica. And just like that, in one hour, they are all square again. And Damsbo has found that 10 ring. Just a little twitch there, that, but that's perhaps the best shot so far of this gold medal match. And a perfect 30 for Dabba. And 
that one looks like it has crept into the nine so a 28 for de julie and it's swung back the other way we're looking at Chris, we talked Dan's about uh, tension fantastic shot to open this fourth end she really came back into this one um with, with a different mindset it's like a different archer step to the line at the end of that third she dropped the the eight low on the bottom target started the fourth comes out drills a 10 and comes away with three of them um, fantastic recovery and all you need to do is be in it in the last end in a compound medal match stay it close going in with a one point lead she has a real chance to to put this away yeah you definitely want to uh be in that position and what a great turnaround as chris has said 113 playing 112 at the end of the fourth just waiting for the line judge to return and there he is it's time for the fifth and final end so as we always say if you are starting things off it's an opportunity to put some pressure on your opponent and that's certainly what clementine needs right here looks like that's just gone a little high matched by Erica which is all she needs that's even closer that's possibly going to get marked as a 10 a big reaction there from Dam's bit And another nine, so provisionally on a 139. An eight to tie, any more, and she's got the gold. And that looks like it's right in the center of the target. And well, we've got a 141 plays, a 139 is the provisional score, but Chris, I don't see that changing. No, I mean, that middle arrow for Clementine Giazzulli could be marked up. But even if she gets a 10, she'll still be one point behind. They're both taking a really good look at this. And I'd like to see some confirmation from the judges before we call it. But a fantastic job from Erica Damsbo to come back in that one after shooting the eight in the third, in the third end. Um, really a different archer in the, in the back half, the back stretch of that final. Yeah, it was a great turnaround experience playing its part, no doubt. As she did turn that round, and they're both looking on. I don't think they're 100% convinced of the result. It's just a tiny hint of resignation from Clementine. Now the scoreboard currently shows 141 to 140. That arrow was marked up, as Chris suggested, but it will be Erica Damsbo with the elbow bump who takes gold here in Lausanne. <laughs> A fantastic result for Erica, as we said, really came back in the back half or the back stretch of that match. And three tens in the fourth to turn it around. I loved at the target there. They had both scores up at 140, and the archers thought they were going for a shoot off. But the, the agent down there collecting the arrows just switched that to a one, and that was all she needed a one point win for Erica Damspo in this gold medal match. Brilliant performance from both of them, uh, but that eight, uh, very telling for the dance and the recovery she made after that in the fourth and fifth ends uh, was quite remarkable.